thanks. Um, it's not... Uh, I'm standing here, but there are some people in particular who do need recognition, and I'm talking about Judy and Sonia and Danny and Tracy and all those people from Kirong Valley, my wife Vicky, who have been there stirring it up, and there are others. And I acknowledge you all. That we find ourselves in a time that we've never seen before. It's not the greatest threat since World War II even. It is the greatest threat to the actual coherence that's being talked about of our land here. Coal seam gas mining depressurises the coal aquifers that run beneath us. In this valley down here, the coal seams go from 300 metres to 850 metres underneath. That's what Shell, PetroChina, otherwise known as Arrow, are here for. Yes, it's fully owned by Shell, PetroChina. They're in our valley and they will be back. They have told me this at Invercaul House on a slideshow about a year ago. It's my, I have to add a sombering note to this. This is a celebration, but this is a, a foe that we've never seen before in the form of mining that is coming into the northern rivers. And it is going to be something we're all going to have to stand up and do more about. I'm going to urge you all, do more, give more, pay more, because the way that we've got this thing up from trips to Canberra, from running stalls to going out to all the halls and all the valleys and speaking to all the people who have wanted a coal seam gas meeting, I might be standing a bit close, is we've paid it out of our own pockets. All right? It's not a pretty sight when you look at your wallet and there's not enough there to pay the bills because you've been trying to let people know what's going on. So we all have to get together on this. The situation here is that we have an exploratory well dug up Kirong Valley. The next stage of it is to come and test the flows. At that point, a, uh, a gas flare is put up that will go into our atmosphere. Salt water and toxins, including the ones that are put down the wells, will be brought up and carried somewhere by someone and put in evaporation holding slash holding ponds. The governments are, who are in power are all facilitating coal seam gas industry. I spoke at the Olsenville House with no steps to the Senate inquiry. Some time later the government's own submission to their own inquiry said we expect this to go ahead in April 2012. They've put in place an aquifer protection policy. They've put in place a strategic land policy, which Mr Thomas George said is an oversight that the Northern Rivers has not been considered. Shame. The, the, the politicians, as has been mentioned, move between companies. They are there and the bureaucrats who have been trained at our expense go out and work for the companies. Now the companies that are coming here and doing all this drilling are not just looking for coal seam dash, gas. There is around Casino and further south tight sands gas which also requires the hydraulic fracturing or fracking process where chemicals, sand, mud and water are pumped down to break apart the thing, the coal seam. Then the water's drawn up and the gas is drawn off and we've got all this water. The, everyone knows and is amazed when they see, they climb high on a hill round here or up on Mount Nardi and they see the water flowing out of the ground. If this industry, if we allow this to go ahead, that will be the first thing to dry up. We've got a wet year at the moment. We've got a few wet years, but we won't have wet years all the time. And even if we do, those springs, it takes a long time to replenish the underground aquifers that feed our rivers. The federal government 
has signed off on 40,000 fracking wells in the Surat and Bowen basins. That's the big underground water source from which our rivers, the Logan, the Tweed, the Clarence and the Richmond and all the tributaries come from that underground water. The federal government has the chance through this scientific committee that is coming up here to declare the World Heritage Northern Rivers. It is the biodiversity hotspot as declared by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, of diverse species, of species left over from the Pleiobostine area era. It is up to us to make them aware and make other people aware at every time we get a chance. And you will have to sit up late at night and you will have to write letters and you will have to travel to, say, Casino RSM next Thursday at two o'clock when Mr Brad Hazard of the New South Wales Government will be there to interview constituents, to talk to constituents in a public meeting about coal seam gas. But the mining industry is also looking for uranium, as in New South Wales at this time. And these clods of capital that are mining companies will move from one to the other and transform. So it is up to us to be vigilant. It is up to us to kick these people out of the northern rivers to take the fight to them. Yeah. And don't think that because you live up here in the Channon, where I've lived for many years, I lived in this area for 37 years, we saved the water up here at Terrania, at Mount Nardi. We saved it there. It's up to us to save it again now. And I won't go on for a lot longer, but there's a couple more things need to be said. Down around Casino, there's a small, they call themselves small, I've got capital of 71 million in the bank, Mr Henderson said at the London ASX two days ago, who are looking, uh, seeking a full term production licence, which is the third part of the coal seam gas story. You do your core, your exploration, your core sampling, and then you get a production licence, right? And they are seeking a lot more money. In fact, the share, the, the share price of a, company, of a coal seam gas mining is directly related to the managing directors and the senior shareholders' profits. So we need to fight them at every turn and have it every space. If there is a demonstration, and there is one in Lismore, um, on the 12th, is it? Rally. 12th of May, get there. We only had 680 people last time. We've got to do better than that this time. Yeah. And please, if you can, if you can make the time, take time off work and you've got things to say to Mr Brad Hazard or you want to see what his take on it is with his friend Mr Thomas George. They will be in Casino at the RSM at 2 o'clock next Thursday. In May 1st, the farmers are going to Sydney to, Macquarie, uh, to, to tell Macquarie Street how disappointed that's from all over the state. Now Michael's going to talk a little bit about Lock the Gate and we've all, a lot of us have got Lock the Gate signs on our gates. It's not, it's the first step. If a company really wants to get in, they can take you to arbitration, right? But they don't want to because it affects their social licence. And that's what we've got here today, a real groundswell to say they haven't got a social licence. Get out!
Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get